Well, today we're having our walkthrough before Sunday's massive national convention. We expect to have over 15,000 and we're preparing for over 15,000 party supporters, members of the public, Belizeans from far and wide to be here on Sunday. It will be the biggest convention in the history of this country and we look forward to it. And that's why we have to have a walkthrough. We're working with traffic, we're working with the police department. I have to tell them thanks for all the assistance that they have been giving us. As you know, this is a massive endeavor. We're bringing in over 230 buses from outside in the districts. And we have to make sure that the buses come in, that they offload their passengers on a timely manner, and that they are parked um, close to here so that when the convention is over, that they can come and pick up the supporters, the passengers very easily. You know? So it's a big logistical um, endeavor that we're undertaking. As I said, it's the biggest convention this country will ever see and or has ever seen uh, hopefully that um, future conventions can be even bigger but i'm looking forward to it this sunday is our super bowl last week they had super bowl in the u.s well this sunday the pup is having its super bowl on february 11 right here at the it event sir no when you say the biggest convention ever these things cost money are we to understand from the scale of the convention you all are planning that the PUP is flush with cash? Well, I wouldn't say we are flush with cash, but we have been getting the support from the business community, from our supporters, um, to make sure that we can have a good convention, to make sure that we are ready for this election come March 7. It shows that they are willing to invest in us. They know that the PUP is ready and that our teams um, in the nine municipalities are ready to lead and ready to win.